Novartis of Basel, Switzerland is the biggest pharmaceutical company in the world with annual affairs of $60 billion in 2013. And they're going to make a big buck out of the Ebola outbreak. First, they had their product, products Gleevec and Tessigna against Ebola ready in 2012. The next year, in 2013, they had new Swiss laws of mandatory vaccinations set in place. And yes, the pharmaceutical lobby is the biggest by far in Swiss Parliament. And again, one year later, in 2014, the Ebola outbreak in 2014, simultaneously presenting the Swiss Ebola vaccine, Exelon. Well, this is the itinerary of big crimes against humanity. Just follow the money and you get to Switzerland. So you can see the old article. Here there's Gleefec and Tessigna. And um, against Ebola. So first they had it all ready. The vaccine. The antidote. Then the Swiss new laws, so they can just give you a shot. And then the outbreak, in collaboration with the Swiss Nazis. Who, who thought, who, who've been told that the Swiss borders are, were going to be closed, as an effect. There has always been that Nazi alliance with the Swiss pharmaceutical complex in the town of, of the Bank of International Settlements, Basel. Like with Auschwitz, the Nazis, Mengele, Dr. Death and the Apartheid system, see my other vids. And here in the logo, it's three different things, you know, so that's Isis, Horus and Seth. And it's also like the needle in an uh, artificial insemination, you know, like punching the egg. Maybe the way we were made, who knows. And the uh, Pyramid S logo of its predecessor Sandoz from before the 1996 fusion. It's all pharaonic. So this is for Isis, Horus and Seth. And this is Seth, you know, the guys who, was, who, who came from up there with the needle and the injection, you know, of the, uh, of, of the genetics into the human egg here. And uh, Isis, the big one here, Isis, and Horus, the little one, uh, being the uh, terrestrial results of the uh, celestial uh, imprint of uh, Seton or Satan, Satan, Sethon, Set, Set on. You see, it's all there. And now they're going to do with the, uh, the Ebola outbreak some more, um, uh, oh, you know, the Georgia Guidestone things, you know, the ones they want to keep and the ones they don't want to keep. The same thing, actually, which is in the logo. You know, it's all about a farmed human race. Even farmers do it nowadays, you know, with cloning and, and you know, artificial insemination of a great bull and... So this is the injection by Sethon, and here's the human egg. Charming, isn't it? And it's all from Switzerland. Switzerland is entirely corrupt and under the influence of, uh, of Nazis and their, and their companies, because they're all very, very rich you now. They'll sell their grandmothers if they can get only like more votes in their particular interests. It's completely out of control and somebody should do something because they will never do it themselves. They also control the police, they control everything. And it's always been like this in this country here. Yeah? Nothing has changed. It's horrible. The map industries from California and their alleged actual Ebola vaccine antidote for the US is most likely a Novartis subsidiary 
of the Swiss multinational, which they do to block lawsuits, arrive at the core of the company. MAP Incorporated has only 95 employees, of, of whom 17, 72 researcher, researchers only. <laughs> and it can't be taken serious for researching an antidote for something as complex as Ebola. So if Americans are going to die from the new MAP vaccine against Ebola, the Swiss mother company cannot be held responsible in a court of law. Chiron in California is also a Swiss subsidiary of Novartis and the president has Swiss roots. See my video about it. Is fecit qui prodest. He or she who profits the most is considered to be guilty.